The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the knowledge of the holy is understanding. God doesn't want you to be afraid of him, because the scriptures say, For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. So what the Heavenly Father is trying to teach us is fear what he says sin will produce in your life, and where it will lead you to once this life is over. Sin always take from you and leave you in a place of lack and bondage. And once sin fully manifests in your life, it will lead you to death. Evil doings that come from sin is what put fear and worry in our heart and mind. But when you dedicate your life to serve God through his word, by following Lord Jesus who fulfilled the entire law of God's word and conquered the death that sin manifests by faith that you believe in this truth, that's how God's love is made perfect in your life, and that same love will cast out all fear when you trust him. And fear not them which kill the body but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. God not asking you to be afraid of him. He's just letting you know how he feel about sin and where it will lead you to once this life is over. See, this is how much God loves us. He loves us so much that he warns us about sin. That's what produces the fear in our life. Sin. See, even with Adam and Eve in the book of Genesis, when they was in the Garden of Eden, when God came to visit them, they hid themselves because they knew they did something wrong. See, sin was manifest the moment they ate from the tree of knowledge. And that's the very day that fear was manifest in our heart and in our mind. And that's the same fear that the devil try to feed off of. The main goal of the devil is to try to make you go against the word of God. See, when God give you a word, it's for a purpose and it's for your protection. And anytime you go against that word, it will always lead you to sin. And that's how the devil was able to trick Adam and Eve. Because he manipulated the word of God in order to deceive them. So they will go against the word of God. And that's what produces the sin and the fear. Because the Bible say they hid themselves from God because they feared what he would do. But see, that's how much God loves you. He warns you about this sin. And that's the difference between Adam and Eve and Lord Jesus. See, Lord Jesus only lived by the word of God. But Adam and Eve went against the word of God because they fell into deception from the enemy. See, Lord Jesus fulfilled the whole law of God's scripture. And it's through his love that it's made possible that we can overcome these things that's worldly. See, the devil wanted to keep you in a blind spot. He wanted to keep your mind in a foggy state. But see, that's why we have a redeemer, Lord Jesus. See, it's through his life that brings clarity to ours. And we're able to see through the deception because of Lord Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit. See, the Holy Spirit produces wisdom, discernment. The Holy Spirit produces protection. The Holy Spirit is the helper. And the Holy Spirit will produce power in your life. It produces the true love, the authentic love of God, the unconditional love that was given to us through Lord Jesus when he laid his life down. And he conquered the death that sin produced when he was risen on the third day. Because he put his life in the hands of the Father. And that's what he taught us how to do. Don't let fear consume your life. And I'm not just preaching to y'all. I'm preaching this to me too. This is stuff I got to apply to my life every single day I wake up. Because it's not an overnight process. You got to apply the word of God to your life continuously. You got to pray continuously without ceasing. There's things that we got to do to stay ready. Because if you stay ready, you won't have to get ready. If you stay ready, what do you have to prepare for? 
See, I was talking to my mom and she blessed me with this beautiful wisdom that the Heavenly Father blessed her with. And the Heavenly Father said this, don't get ready when I get there. Be ready before I get there. Because the scriptures say, Lord Jesus will come swiftly. See, nobody knows the day nor hour. It can happen at any moment. And this is what the Heavenly Father is preparing us for in the scripture. See, if we be obedient to his scripture, by following Lord Jesus, who fulfilled the whole scripture, then you will be ready. And the more you allow God's love to, to marinate in your heart, it'll cast out all fear. So fear not, because God is with you. I pray this bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.